This is war with no weapons, marching with no stepping, murder with no killing, ill in every direction. First, no sequel, do the math, no equal, John with no. What's up, guys? This is the E39. 2,528 M package. It's a 2.8 liter. Uh, built these headlights from scratch. Pretty cool thing. The problem is very common for these higher mileage beamers. Happens on uh, different models, not necessarily this one. Um, this one has 155,000 miles, and uh, it's basically this when you drive you hear this hear that that's coming from right here this guy right there see I have determined that because I held the drive shaft and I tried to reproduce the problem and it didn't happen. So I know that my problem is not the CV joints. Alright, so this is our dono part. We got it from the junkyard. And when I moved it with the CV, I mean with the drive shaft on, it did not make that noise, so I know this is 90% good. Normally, if these are bad, you see that they're dry, and when I saw that this is pretty greasy, figured, well, it should be okay. I'm going to fill it with grease before we put it on, so it should work okay. So to do the job, we're going to need a, this looks like a 13, let's see. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, so it's a 13 millimeter. Get yourself a uh, ratcheting wrench, gear wrench, whatever you got. Or this is gonna be an all day thing. Ask me how I know. And then again, get on the car, make sure it's in neutral, that way you can turn it. Uh, you're gonna need to jack the car up, put on jack stands, make sure it's secure because you're gonna get under it and you don't wanna just make sure you're safe um, so yeah 13 millimeter we're gonna have to drop the exhaust the exhaust has got uh, that's the uh, the uh, very rear we got 13 millimeter here that's with the uh, rear of the vehicle that way, front that way. This is right behind the muffler. If you come from behind. You gotta need a deep socket 13 to get that out. And then... Where is the other one? There is this guy right here, which you just need to pull out. There is a tool that you can purchase to get this out but it's unnecessary in my opinion and then you got all right so and then you got 13 millimeters four of them one two three four and then you got one right here for the uh, rubber piece that hold the exhaust you take that out once you take all these out, you can let the muffler hang and then put a jack or jack stand under the muffler. I meant the exhaust. And then you put a jack stand or a jack under the muffler, that way it doesn't just dangle. What I'm going to do today, right now is I'm going to take all the bolts off and drop the exhaust like I showed you. And then, and then we'll get back to it. Alright, so what I did... I'm going to take the whole exhaust off. I have it off all the way to the back, but not in the front. And I have penetrating oil. Make sure you have that on the exhaust or you will not get this off. And then uh, I'm going to use it like a breaker bar. Alright guys, so you drop the heat shield. 
there's four bolts holding it one here here two over there and you drop it and you got this and then once you drop it you can see the whole uh, drive shaft you gotta take this one off too it's got two eight millimeters right there and then check this one is the center support bearing mine looks be looks pretty good so I assume it's been replaced because usually these are pretty bad however E39's don't have that issue E46's do uh, so now at the front where the transmission is you're gonna need to take these 18's and then put it in neutral turn it take the rest of them out they're gonna be really really tight so get your breaker bar so get your breaker bar and make sure so you can you know take them out and then once we get this side out and this out these are 13's alright so these are 13's take these two out and take the 18's out and then we already have those 13's at the rear taken off so all we need to do is drop the drive shaft replace the uh, CV joint. Alright, so this is where we are at. We took all the bolts off. Something you need to uh, know about this if the arrow is facing that way, you put the bolts that connect the Guaybo to the tranny. And then, if when you see, and for these ones that face in this way this bolts on to the drive shaft so basically the arrow facing back drive shaft arrow facing front of the uh, transmission now we're going to take these off I've already taken the rear uh, heat shield off we're basically done we're just going to take this one off pull the drive shaft and uh, I'll show you what we're going to do with the outside Alright, so as soon as I saw this, the uh, I knew what was the problem. So when you get this out, you need to check the splines, make sure they're good. And when you pull this out, you're supposed to get the whole thing out. Like, attached to it. Mine didn't do that. Mine came off. So the drive shaft came off and then I had to pull this thing off and the reason why is because this C-clamp is supposed to hold them both together and that didn't work because uh, the clamp somehow came off and also this was really dry and uh, You know, you see all the grease is gone, and the seal here wasn't doing anything. I don't even know where the seal is. So, this is definitely a bad one. We could probably re-grease it and put it back on, but I'm not going to do that. I already have a better one. Uh, this seal is probably still on the car, so I'm going to scrape it off. And uh, I'm going to fill this with grease and install it. I'll, uh show you what we get when we're done alright so I thought this would be fun there's no muffler we're gonna start her up I've I've, I've heard my 2.5 can't see it's dark the other E39 uh, and I'll show you what we did with this You ready? It's gonna be really loud. <laughs> All right, let's go. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so my other car sounded like.
I want my car to sound like this. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, that's enough. Well, that was cool. Alright, so we took it out. Showed you that the washer was off, and that's why it came loose. Put a bunch of grease in there, so we're good to go. Make sure this uh, washer right here, there's a gasket. Make sure that's clean. And then you're going to go under the car and clean the area over there. This is under the car where your draft shaft sits. And as you can see, the, the gasket deteriorated and got in here. And the grease is pretty solid. So I think this was... The damage happened because the uh, seal let a lot of debris in and then somehow it caught the uh, C-clamp and it made it come loose. So yeah, we're going to clean this with a, <clears throat> with a brush, a metal brush, make it get it nice and clean and then put the uh, drive shaft back on. Other than that, if you have a bad support bearing, like I said, make sure it's replaced. I broke my two of my exhaust uh, bolts, so I'm going to have to have some fun with that. And if you guys have this issue, it's going to cost you good money. So make sure you uh, like, share, subscribe this video.